Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let us take another problem. We want to determine the area of the region bounded by the curves x minus 2y square plus 2y equal to 0, it is given implicitly here, and x minus 12y square plus 12y cubed equal to 0, these are the two curves, and the lines y equal to 0 and y equal to 1. So, it is like whatever we have started in the beginning, it may look something like that. But then we have to first see how the curves would look like, whether there are points of intersection are coming those two exactly or something else. So, let us find the points of intersection of the curves. So, there the first curve we can write x equal to 2 y square minus 2 y and the second we can write x equal to 12 y square minus 12 y cubed. So, eliminating x we get 2 y square minus 2 y equal to 12 y square minus 12 y cubed. Fine. So, now from this we solve for y which gives that y equal to 0 or y equal to 1 because all that we want is in our interval 0 to 1 we only need it beyond that there can be but we are not worried about that. So, in this interval 0 to 1 we have only two solutions of this where y equal to 0 and y equal to 1. Okay. <coughs> So, if you really plot them, it would look something like this x equal to 2 y square minus 2 y is the curve on the left that is blue one and the magenta one is x equal to 12 y square minus 12 y cubed. So, you want to compute the area between them where y equal to 0 and y equal to 1, they are exactly the points of intersection. So, giving that line is really superfluous here, we could have just asked determine the area of the region bounded by these two curves. Fine and in the upper half plane. So, in the upper half plane only that is the reason we will be getting. Okay. So, now how to get this area? You can in fact do in many ways. One is you can divide that into sub portions if you want to integrate through x, but here x is given as a function of y. So, it is quite natural to go the other way around. So, if you look at from the y axis, the pink one is on the top and the blue curve is on the bottom. So, then you can just write 12 y square minus 12 y equal to minus of 2 y square minus 2 y integral from 0 to 1 that would give the area of the region. right? So, you write that as the integral 12 y square minus 12 y cubed minus of 2 y square again minus of minus 2 y that is plus 2 y. So, this is to be integrated. Fine. So, we know that 3 y square will give us y cubed. So, 4 is remaining 12 y square as the integral as 4 y cubed, 12 y cubed as the integral as 3 y fourth and 2 y square, y square give y cubed by 3. So, 2 by 3 y cubed and 2 y as the integral as y square. So, this we evaluate at 0 and 1 and we get finally the answer as 4 divided by 3. So, here you see the looking at from uh, y axis it became easier. If you do it from x axis you can still do, but what you have to do find this point and then subtract these two areas to get this area and on the other side find this point and subtract this and this area right to get this area the whole and minus this white. So, that is how you also you can get it, but that will be a bit complicated first you have to get these points right. Okay. Let us take the next problem, uh, find the area of the region enclosed by the line y equal to x 
and the curve y equal to x square minus 2x. So, since it is enclosed by these two, it looks y equal to x should intersect that at least at two points and then some reason should be formed. So, this is how it looks if you take y equal to x and then y equal to x square minus 2 x on the downside this one. So, we have this region really. To get exactly what are those points where it intersects, we again solve the equations. We have x square minus 2 x equal to y and x equal to y. So, x square minus 2 x equal to x that has solution as x equal to 0 or x equal to 3. So, we get the point x equal to 0 here and x equal to 3 here. And here y equal to x is on the top of the other curve y equal to x square minus 2 x. So, it will be fairly straightforward to use the uh, integral convert it to integral it will be simply integral of 0 to 3 x minus x square minus 2 x. So, that gives x minus x square and this is plus 2 x. So, you get 3 x minus x square right it is 3 x minus x square. So, 3 x has the integral as 3 into x square by 2 x square as x cubed by 3 this has to be evaluated at 0 and 3 and subtracted. So, which gives the answer as 9 divided by 2. So, this was fairly straightforward, but you have to find the points of intersection first. Okay. So, let us go to exercise 4. We want to determine the total area of regions bounded by the line phi pi equal to x plus 6 and the curve y equal to square root of mod x. So, this square root of mod x that means, it will be looking like uh, if you use the definition of mod x, it is square root of x for x greater than or equal to 0 and it is square root of minus x for x less than 0 or even x less than or equal to 0. So, that is how the curve looks like. So, at least we have to consider two cases when x is positive and when x is negative and then find the corresponding regions add them up. Okay. So, let us take the first case say x is greater than or equal to 0. In this case, we want to find the points of intersection. So, phi pi equal to x plus 6 and if you take phi pi there, phi pi equal to square root of uh, x times 5. So, 5 root x and eliminating y we get x plus 6 square equal to 25 x that gives x square minus 13 x right x square plus 12 x minus 25 x. So, that gives 13 x plus 36 equal to 0 and if you factorize that would give x minus 4 into x minus 9 and that is equal to 0 when x equal to 4 or 9. So, in this case that for the positive after 0, if you choose any x. So, the, it says that these two curves intersect at two points x equal to 4 and x equal to 9. Similar thing might happen again on the negative side right when x is less than or equal to 0 or x less than 0. So, let us see that case when x is less than or equal to 0 we have x plus 6 equal to phi pi by as earlier, but now square root of mod x becomes square root of minus x. So, again we try to solve it squaring we get x plus 6 square equal to 25 into minus x or minus 25 x. So, we get uh, x square plus 12 plus 25 that is x square plus 37 x plus 36 equal to 0. Again we factor them. So, that gives to two solutions again x equal to minus 1 or minus 36. So, that means, when it is less than 0 we have minus 1 and we have minus 36 correspond to this there will be points on the curve and on the other side we have 4 and also we have 9 corresponding to that somewhere they will be intersecting Maybe this we do not know where it is, but corresponding points will be there that is what it says. So, you have to really find all the areas 
and then add them up. Okay. Now we just look at something. We have if x equal to minus thirty six, then uh, y will be equal to square root of mod x, right? So square root of mod x, or you can say from this also. So that will be square root of six, really. Why should be equal to six? Fine. See y equal to square root of minus x. Mod x becomes minus x now. So it is equal to square root of thirty-six, which is six. Okay. So it gives six here. X equal to minus thirty-six. So y becomes equal to six. But this is not possible. Why is it not possible? What is the reason? We'll see from the plot what happens if it is negative. Then minus thirty-six is really a false point, which is not falling here. And all the other things we get, your corresponding to minus one, corresponding to four, corresponding to nine. They are actually the points. Okay, so you want to find out the area of these regions. Actually, we have only three points of intersection, not the fourth one. Okay, so that's what we say. If x equal to minus thirty-six, this will not be a possible solution. Okay, because x is less than or equal to zero and y becomes six, uh, so. we want to determine the area bounded by these two lines so there is no region corresponding to this binding the area that's why it is not possible okay so only possible points are this where the regions are formed now these are the three intersection points which correspond to x equal to minus 1 so here is the intersection point and x equal to 4 which is this intersection point and x equal to 9 which is this So that means we compute the area which is painted black here. There is area of this area is clear, but the other area also is here, which is looking very small in the picture. But there is some area here. It is not a straight line. Had it been a straight line, its area would have been zero. It is not. It is really intersecting at two points, and there is some region formed. Okay. So now, how to compute the area of these regions? Of course, one from four to nine will be straight forward. The top line would be straight line, and bottom is the curve, so we can just integrate it. But this one, the bigger black region, uh, has to be broken broken out again, right? So let us say at zero we break it, then we have one, which one area which is formed. Top line is the straight line, and bottom was this curve. and on the other side again you have one on the top and one on the bottom so you have really got three integrals that way that's what we do now we break at zero and write it as three uh, integrals one is from minus 1 to 0 where the line is y equal to 5y equal to x plus 6 or y equal to x plus 6 by 5 minus square root of minus x that is the curve there when x is less than or equal to 0 And for the other integral, we have again straight line as the this area, this area. So there again straight line at the top, and y equal to root x in the bottom. So x plus six by five minus root x. And the other one, it is the straight line which comes below, and the curve goes to the top of it. So we have root x, x is positive, so it is root x minus x plus six by five. That is the integral. And the limits, one is minus one to zero, next one is zero to four, next one is four to nine. That's how we got the area to be written as sum of these three integrals. Now, if you integrate them and continue, uh, simplification gives that the area is really five divided by three. So sometimes plotting may be become necessary to find out what are the spurious solutions, which are not forming the regions, bounded regions. So, like here, it formed. It did not form any bounded region. Okay. 
So, let us go to maybe next problem. So, find the area of the region enclosed by y equal to second square pi x by 3, y equal to x to the power 1 by 3, x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 1. So, these are two lines, vertical lines x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 1. So, these two curves and these two lines. So, all that we have to find out which one is lying above what and that would give us straightforward answer. So, now when you it is x varies from minus 1 to 1. For this one we see that second square pi x by 3 is bigger than x to the power 1 by 3. Right? So, since it is bigger we have the area as integral minus 1 to 1 second square pi x by 3 minus x to the power 1 by 3 dx and then you integrate second square gives directly tan of this and pi x by 3. So, you have multiplied 3 by pi and x to the power 1 by 3 gives 3 by 4 x to the power 4 by 3 evaluated at 1 and minus 1. So, that simplifies to 6 root 3 divided by pi. Okay. So, let us solve another let 0 be less than a less than b. So, there are two real numbers positive real numbers a and b where a is less than b. a 1 is the area of the region bounded by the curve y equal to 1 by x and the lines y equal to 0 right x equal to a and x equal to a b. So, one curve and there are three lines y equal to 0 is the x axis and x equal to a x equal to a b are the two vertical lines. Similarly, a 2 is the region bounded by the same curve x axis, but now the two lines vertical lines are different they are x equal to 1 and x equal to b. We are required to find out which area is bigger than what. Right? So, let us write them as integrals first a 1 is equal to since the lines are x equal to a and x equal to b it is integral a to a b x to the power minus 1 that is 1 by x the curve and x axis of course, below. So, y equal to 0. So, 1 by x minus 0 which is 1 by x and a 2 similarly equal to 1 to b x to the power minus 1 dx. Now, you have to compare these two integrals and say which one is bigger or what happens. So, since the limits are a and a b some a is multiplied here, you have to put a substitution. Let us put the substitution u equal to x divided by a. Here x is varying from a to a by b. So, if you take u equal to x by a, then when x equal to a, u becomes 1 and when x equal to a b, u becomes b. But in that case, what happens to the differential? You find that du here du equal to x dx by a a that is what we wrote here or you can write d x which d x equal to a times d u. Okay. So, using that we get x inverse d x equal to u a because x equal to u a to the power minus 1 and d x is a times d u. So, a really gets cancelled you get 1 to b limits are for u. So, 1 to b 1 to b u to the power minus 1 d u which again is same thing as it does not matter which variable it is in the integral. So, 1 to b x to the power minus 1 dx that means, these two areas are same fine. So, whether in that curve you take a to a b or 1 to b those two areas will become same that is what it says. Okay. So, let us stop here.